Hello there, I am the Bible of soccer. The Bible of soccer, but soccer like this, not soccer. And in this video, we're going to talk about Croatia as per the China Cup participation and about how beautiful this board looks like. Okay, so I have to warn you that my first language is not English, my second language is not English, I'm recording everything from my cell phone with no teleprompter, no guidelines and no master edition. Also I speak a little bit like this, slow, so I don't lose my train of, of thought, okay? Also this is mainly an Spanish speaking YouTube channel, okay? So if you speak English, you may look for the ENG at the beginning of my videos. Okay, that means that they're in English. Okay, so let's start with Croatia, the pair of three. This is how I call them. Okay, I'm gonna explain about that later. But first, let's go with a little bit of history. Okay, remember that Croatia Croatia is kind of a new country, okay, but they have the previous school, okay, I'm going to start talking about their, the president of their, of their federation, okay, Davor Zucker, okay, it's important for this team to talk about him, okay, he was a striker, he main uh, foot was left, Okay, but he also played with the right. He used to play with both legs. Okay, he used to play with both legs. Okay, so this is very important to mention before I go to the explanation. Okay, so that's Davor Zucker. So I'm gonna start with the current team today. I'm not sure if this player are gonna have permission from their clubs to go to China and play this cup because this uh, this date is not in the FIFA calendar okay so it's a discretion of every club if they want to release these players or not okay so I'm gonna start with the star of this team he's their best player which is Luka Modric okay he is from the school of Davor Zucker, he played with the right and left foot, okay, and pretty much the same. For him, it's the same left or right, okay, but he used more the right leg, right foot, okay, and he is very talented, okay, and he has football, I call this, okay, he put a lot of football in any direction. Okay, he plays there and he has one attribute that he is the best in this attribute in the entire world. Okay, he's not the best player in his position. Okay, but he has one attribute where he is the best in that attribute. Okay, and he's the referee. Okay, when he has the ball and somebody from the other team is trying to turn him down or to give him a foul, he escape. Okay, he doesn't like to go down. He doesn't like uh, to make the referee to stop the game or the playing at that moment. Okay, he doesn't like that. So what he does he always gonna escape when you're trying to make a foul of him. If you're going to foul him and you want to stop the entire situation, you're probably gonna get a yellow card. Okay, because there is no other way to stop the game. He always is gonna start, he's gonna try to keep playing. Okay, and leave you behind anyways. Because you're gonna believe there is gonna be a foul and no, he's gonna keep playing, he's gonna escape from you, he's gonna leave you behind. And maybe later, you also get a yellow card. Okay, but he's the best player in the world by doing that. 
Okay, that you try to follow him and he doesn't let you. He doesn't let you. Okay, he escaped. You can follow him, but he still are gonna keep playing with the ball. Okay? Also, because he used his right left and the left one almost in the same kind of control when they have corner kicks, okay? I'm gonna put Subasic here. I'm gonna I'm not going to talk about him right now, but I'm gonna put him here so we know that we are attacking in this direction. Okay? So Kovas uh Luka Modri, sorry, Luka Modri in the corners, okay? He usually is gonna go in one of the sides. Okay? This is because he used his right left, his right leg and his left left pretty much at the same way. So if the ball comes here, okay, he can use one of his leg. And if he goes in the other side, he can use the other leg and the ball is not going to go in. Okay, because sometimes we see some defenders that are there, but the ball goes in the direction in the leg that they don't use too much. Okay, and the ball hit the leg and then the net. Okay, but in the case of Luka Modri, he goes there and because he has control completely, okay, total control of both legs, both legs, he's gonna be able to send the ball out. Okay, so he does that. Then I'm going to talk about the second player, best player of this team. Okay, second best player, which is Rakitic. Okay, Luka Modri, Real Madrid, Rakitic, uh, Barcelona. Okay, Rakitic also use both legs, right and left. This is what I call. This is this is what I call. The double soccer is cool. Okay, I don't know if that's the real explanation. Maybe before double soccer it was like that, and it was a school in the old country. Okay, but I call this maybe if somebody from Croatia watch this video, it can tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong. Okay, but I call this the double soccer school. Okay, that maybe after him, people in Croatia started to play with both legs. Okay, I don't know, maybe it's normal or maybe it's a coincidence. Okay, or maybe it comes even before double soccer. Okay, but I call it the double soccer school. So, uh, Rakitic, both left, both legs, both foot, but uh, he's better with the right. Okay, he has not as the same kind of control as Luka Modri. Okay, he is some degrees or maybe one degree lower. Okay, in his use of the left one. But he still can score from outside with the left one. Okay, and he just use it a little less. Okay, but he still use it and he's still very good. Okay, not as good as Luka Modri, but good. Good enough, very, very good. Okay, and he also has one attribute in which he is the best in the world. Okay, he's not the best player in his position, but he has one attribute where he is the best in the world. Okay, he's the best player who do this. We usually see in the defending area, when you go here or even before, some players, midfielders or defenders, okay, they switch all the way here they send the ball all the way to the other side okay in order to change the attacking side okay this is very normal in good defenders or good midfielders okay they do this but they usually do it in this side of the field in their own field okay but Rakitic he's the best in the world doing that here okay which is very 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 difficult to do in football in football soccer it's very difficult to 
change all the way to the other side in this area because this is already populated with a lot of players from the other team okay here is the same but maybe one two maybe three players okay so you can do it okay still you have to be very precise because if you push too much power the ball is gonna be out if you don't put enough power the ball is gonna get in somebody in some player from the other team and you're gonna get a strike back okay but here a counter attack but here it's even more difficult to do very difficult okay so uh, Rakitic he's the best in the world in doing that okay change it from here or change it from here okay and he's gonna play here and he also has he's talented he has some football but not as Luka Modric okay but he's the best doing this that I just mentioned okay then I'm gonna talk about Kovacic. Okay, Kovacic is not one of the starters of this team. Okay, I'm gonna talk about him. I'm gonna put him in the bench. Okay, but it's important that I talk about him now because later on I'm gonna talk about him if deeper. Okay, and when I talk about the team. So I'm gonna talk right now about uh, Kovacic, okay, Kovacic can play here or he can switch with Luka Modric and play here, okay, please keep in mind that inside of the center circle, if I put this magnet there, it means that this player is an organizer, okay, and number 10, okay, the organizer of the team, the brain, so we already have Luka Modric inside of the center circle. We already have Rakitic inside of the center circle. Okay, number 10, organizers, creators. Okay, Kovacic is also an organizer. Okay. And um, Kovacic plays here, he plays in Real Madrid also, but uh, he plays a little bit, he plays very similar as Zidane used to play, okay, maybe this is the reason why Zidane doesn't like him, maybe, okay, because he's not even in the bench in the Real Madrid team right now, okay, maybe because he is very, looks pretty much like Zidane, he plays similar to Zidane, but in one level, less level okay maybe Zidane says oh you want to play like me but you cannot okay so maybe the, maybe that's the reason I don't know but he plays very similar to Zidane he can be an organizer okay and he can be another brain for this team okay but he's not in the starter he usually comes from the bench I'm gonna put him there with the coach with Ante Kasich Okay, the coach of this team, I'm going to put him in there for now. And now we have Brozovic, who is usually the starter there. He's also an organizer. I'm putting him inside of the circle. If I put it outside of the center circle, it's because he's just a connector. Okay, midfielder connector. But in this case, he's also an organizer. Okay, so this team already have one singularity that it has three organizers and sometimes it can have even more okay Brozovic as well as Luka Modric and as well as uh, Rakitic he used his right and his left foot okay but a little less than Rakitic okay and Modric Okay, I will say that Modric, he has almost the same control or the same. Look at Modric, uh, Rakitic a little bit less, and this one a little bit less than Rakitic. Okay, so one, two, and the third one. But he still can score with the left, and he can make 
long passes with the leg, with the left. Okay, but the, his right is the is his best. Okay, so Brozovic, he plays similar to Arturo Vidal from Chile. Okay, Arturo Vidal from uh, uh, Bayern Munich, former Juventus. But in the opposite, it has the opposite attributes. Okay, for example, Arturo Vidal is very desperate in defense and then he comes down a little bit when he goes in attack. Okay, Brozovic is the opposite. He's not so desperate when he's in defense, but he's very desperate when he goes in attack. Okay, which is a problem for this particular team, for Croatia. It's a little bit of a problem. Okay, because the tech, the coach, put him here. Okay, and he goes in attack. Okay, the problem is Luka Modric. Because this team, Ante Kasic, this is the coach, okay, this is the magnet that I use for coach. Okay, this team is made in function of Luka Modric. Okay, this, this team is centered in Luka Modric. Okay, but uh, Brozovic, he has a very particular uh, way of playing. Okay, and in order to put him here in this position, the team will have to be made in function of Brozovic. Okay, this is why I talk about Kovacic. Okay, I'm going to explain that later. But for now, I'm just going to say that if, if Kasik, Ante Kasik, wants to go with here, wants to go here with uh, Brozovic, he has to make the team in function of him. But right now it's a contradiction because the team is made in function of Luka Modric. Okay, but he used his right left uh, foot. Both of, both of them, he goes in defending very good, and he goes desperate in attacking. Okay, and sometimes the other players, they don't know if they should believe him or not, because he's so desperate. Okay, he usually succeeds, and when he goes here, he's here by himself, and the rest of the team is still not there, because he goes very, very desperate in attack okay and sometimes he's here and he has to wait for the rest of the team to try to reorganize okay so it loses it loses the surprise there's no surprise if he's there okay very desperate and then he cannot shoot he has no chance to score so he has to wait for somebody else but if he wait for somebody else also players from the other team are gonna come so there's no surprise anymore okay but he plays there that's how this coach use him he plays there now i'm going to talk about another player this player uh, is already retired okay but i have to talk about him in order to explain this team okay serna serna used to play there Okay, he was very fast. Okay, and he has a lot of personality also. That he put this personality in the game. Okay, and also he tried to score. Okay, this is how he used to play. He still play, but only for his club. Okay, he's retired for the national team only. Okay, and he had, he has a very particular way of kick the ball. Okay, when he kicks the ball. Okay, the ball go straight. The ball go straight and then suddenly it's gonna come down. Okay, go straight and suddenly it's gonna come down. And if you are goalkeeper and you don't know anything about this player, he's gonna kick the ball on you and you're gonna be waiting the ball here, but the goal the ball is gonna be the ball is gonna be down real quick. 
and you're not gonna notice and you're gonna be waiting for the ball here and the, the ball is gonna be down and then in the net okay he used to do some free kicks free kicks and also uh, shoot him okay with the ball in possession and he also is from the Davor Zucker uh, school he used to use his right and left okay so this is Serna he doesn't play for the national team anymore but I, I'm talking about him because uh, I need to talk about how this team works and I needed to talk about him okay then we have uh, Marco Piazza or uh, Haka I don't know how is the pronunciation in Croatian okay but I know that in in Italy where he plays uh, they call him Marco Piazza okay so he plays here he's also from the uh, soccer school double soccer school right and left leg okay he plays with both okay but maybe in a little bit less degree than Brozovic okay so the best is Luka Modric using both legs the second best is Rakitic using both legs the third one using both legs is Brozovic and I will say well, I would say that the fourth one but was Serna, but he's not in the team anymore. And now the fourth one is Piazza. Okay, but Piazza, he usually plays like this, very close to the line. Okay, and when he's here, he decides to either go in, here, go in or to keep going. To make a cross pass or a center pass. Okay, I explained in another video in Spanish that players will do this. Okay, who goes very close to the line, they do this just in case they lose the ball, they still have the chance to send the ball out. Okay, so this is how he, this guy plays. Okay, and Usually he is gonna go straight here or this way. He's gonna look in the middle. And once he's here, he's not going to try to score immediately. He usually is gonna try to fool you, okay? Or to make a little trick so he has more space and more clear way to score. Okay, and because he used his right and his left, it doesn't matter which way you do the trick. <coughs> Sorry. You still have a good chance to score. Okay. <coughs> now. I'm going to. I'm going with the guy who plays here now. Okay. Where is Versaljo. Versaljo. He used to play here. Okay. When Serna was in the team used to play here okay go back go forward but now he does the same here okay he's very good in defending and he usually plays like this okay and a very very few times he goes to the middle but he usually is gonna go just straight forward back and forth okay then we have Perisic Okay, Perisic plays here. Okay, and he's also very fast. Okay, when Serna was here, they both were very fast. Okay, Perisic is very fast. Okay, and he usually also goes inside. Okay, but his main attribute is that he's very fast. Okay, and he, he also goes back for defending, as well as everybody in this team. Okay, then we have uh, Corluca. Okay, Corluca is a central central 
defender and central back and he has good aerial game okay with his head and because he's taller and he jump higher than everybody else he always is gonna uh, he's gonna jump and he doesn't care if he crash with another person okay but the reason why he doesn't care is because when he jump he know he's gonna win he know he's gonna win the jump and he's gonna win the ball okay that's why he doesn't care if he crash with another somebody else because somebody from the other team is the one who is gonna get the body okay this is why this player in the euro okay he got uh, injured in his head okay it's because usually he's the first one he always win by air okay he always win but in this case he didn't do so well okay and the other guy also jumped very high and they crash okay then we have uh, Vida okay we have Vida which also have good uh, good game with his head okay and he usually goes up also for free kicks corner kicks and also when the team has the ball when the team has possession okay Corluca does the same but only for corner kicks and only for free kicks okay but Vida he also goes when the team has the ball in possession okay I think Vida is one of the lower players of this team okay he's not a bad player he's a good player very good player the problem with this player is that he is too happy okay that's his problem he needs to take the game more serious okay because you can see you can see when Croatia plays and everybody goes into the box everybody goes with their hands in their body okay because Croatia is a small team okay if you see German players or Brazilian players when they go to the box it doesn't matter if the ball hits their hands the referee is not gonna say anything okay we know that okay everybody knows this it's not a secret okay but the small team they goes in and the ball touches their hands the referee is gonna is gonna call it a penalty kick okay so Croatia they're aware that they're a small team and everybody goes inside like this except for Vida except for Vida okay he go inside and he doesn't care he plays for Croatia and he's very irresponsible okay because if the rest of the team which has their stars like Luka Modric like Rakitic and they go careful inside the box you have to do it also okay and not only that not only that but don't raise your hands up that's very irresponsible okay but he that's the problem with this player he plays too happy it's okay to play and enjoy the game and have fun it's okay but not too much this is also your job okay this player also he wins a lot of balls by the air here but he doesn't score as much he fell a lot okay and the reason is because he's not focused okay he's having too much fun it's okay to have fun but not too much because then if you have too much fun you become irresponsible okay it's not normal that you go with your head the amount of time that he wins by air and score so little 
Okay, it's not normal. So I will tell this player, you need to be more serious. Okay, when you become more serious, you, you can be a great player. Okay, you can be a great central back, not only for Croatia, but only for your club and make more money. Okay, and here is Trinic. Okay, because Versalho used to play here, but now he went there because Serna is retired from the team, from the national team. And Strinic plays here. Okay, Strinic, normal, like this. Okay, defender. But he has one good attribute, which is, which is very strange for players in this position. Okay, goalkeepers, central backs, and uh, number nine or central forward has this attribute that the Strenig has, which is good sense of positioning. Okay, good sense of positioning usually is an attribute from goalkeepers, from these guys, because they have to try to guess where the ball is gonna be and anticipate and for number nine central forwards okay that they have to also have a good reading of the game to try to see where the pass or where the ball is gonna bounce or where the pass is gonna come okay so it's very strange this attribute for a player in this position okay when he goes in attack okay he usually meet with any of these players, okay, or it can be any other player, it doesn't matter, okay, and when he goes here, in this area, from defending to attacking, and he meet one of those players, he gives the ball to one of them, and then he has a very good sense of positioning, of if he goes there, he goes there, or he goes back. Okay, and then do another pass in attacking. Okay, he has a very good sense of positioning, which is a weird attribute for a player in this position. And he has it, Strinic. Okay, I think that's the reason why uh, he, he was chosen for Kasik, by Kasik. Okay, to play there. And now we have, I mentioned already that Vida is one of the lower uh, players in the level that they play. And the other one is Mansukic. Mansukic. Okay? Mansukic. Which is very sad. Why? Because Mansukic. He was born for this position. He was born to play here. Okay, first of all, as I already said before, magnets, players inside the center circle, they're organizers. Okay, three brains. Okay, four defenders. So if you notice, this team doesn't have a defensive midfielder okay or as we called in South America number five okay this team doesn't have a number five or apparently they don't have a number five okay number five is the player that is the midfielder that plays there and he's gonna be the first one and try to uh, be a defender, okay, when the other teams come with the ball, okay, some teams play, some teams play with double five, which are those, both, the two of these, these kind of players, okay, but this team doesn't play with a number five or with a defensive midfielder, apparently, why apparently, because Mansukic is their number five. Okay, Mansukic was born 
for this position. Okay, because he is a defensive striker. Okay, he usually goes and pressure here very well. Okay, and he does a good job. Okay, how many at the how many strikers defend here in the way he does? He is the best in the world doing this. Okay, he's a defensive striker. He tried to recover the ball here. So I call him when this team doesn't have the ball. I call him at fake five, a fake number five. Okay, he doesn't play there, he plays here. Okay, this player was born for this position. The problem is the system. Okay? This player was born for this position but not for this system. Okay? Why? Because this team has no strikers. Okay? Marco Piaja is not really an striker. Perisic is not really an striker. They're more wingers. Okay? He is the only striker in this team and he's more defensive. Okay, so this position, a player in this position like him, if you want a player like him, it works if you have at least one striker. But there are no striker in this team, only him. Okay, and he plays even behind these two. Okay, if I put a line here, He's the only striker, but he's even behind them, and also his main function is to recover the ball, and he gets lost, okay, because he's going to play too much in this way and too less in the, to the front, okay, so I call this Croatia team, I call them that they defend with 11 defenders, but they attack only with 10, because this guy get lost. He never has a chance to be here on time, okay? These two, which are not the strikers, they go there first, and then he gets there, okay? In a team that already has problem, because the team is made in function of Luka Modric, and it's a little bit of uncomfortable, to play with Brozovic here. Okay, but why I talk about Serna? Because when Serna was on the team, Perisic used to come here also. Okay, from some times of the match, he used to come this way. Why? Because Antekasic, okay, most of the teams on the world, okay, I will say maybe 99% of the teams, they like to have one side where they're stronger in attack. Okay? They like to have one side where they're stronger in, in, in attack and another side more to reorganize in the case the team lose the possession. Okay? This team, Ante Kasic, they he doesn't play like that. Okay? Croatia, doesn't play like that. He wants to be balanced. He wants to have a balanced team. Okay, so when Serna was on the team, Perisic used to come here, and whoever was playing here goes here. Because this player, Serna, was very fast, and Perisic is very fast. Okay, so he doesn't he didn't want to have too fast here. He wanted to balance fast and fast. So now I'm fast in the same way in both sides. Okay, but now now that uh, Serna is not in the team, is not in the team, I don't know if he's going to keep doing that. I don't know if Perisic is going to be moving here sometimes uh, or not. Or if he's going to stay here the entire match. Okay? 
Uh, Serna uh, recently retired from the national team. So there is no way to say it. They have maybe one game, one match after that one. Okay, but we're going to have to see the dynamics of everything to see what's going to happen if the, they're still going to be doing to try to balance the team because uh, Versalho is not as fast as Serna. And also Serna, not only he was fast, he, has a, he had a big personality. Okay? He became like the leader of this side of the team. Okay? When the team attacked by his side, he used to be the leader. Okay? Because he has a big personality. Okay? Now, I'm going to talk about this team. How they defend, because I say already that they don't have a number five. They don't have a midfielder in defense. Okay, so what he does, they, they do, is, this is why I call this this video, pair of, of three. Pair of three. Okay, it's like, a, it's like making fun. Okay, because they go and they group, they make group of three. Okay. They make group of three. Okay, so Mansukic, he's going to be in charge when the other team comes with the ball. He's going to be in charge to make them decide if they're going to attack this way or they're going to attack this way. Okay, but by the middle, they can go because he's a fake number five. Instead of wait here, he is going to be here. And the other team will have to decide if they go that way or they go this way. Okay, so if they go this way, this group of three, I'm going to go and pressure there. And this other three, I'm going to be waiting just in case they move forward. And this other three are going to be here. And you usually are going to see a big empty, big empty space or empty a spot in the other side okay you usually are gonna see that because they go in group of three okay also when they think when they think that the attacking is not gonna go well for the other team you usually gonna see a line of five Okay, you're going to see five defenders. Okay, but this happens when they feel comfortable in the game. And there still are a group of three. Three here and three here. But you're only going to see the line of five. Okay, because this one, we feel confident that, okay, now we feel comfortable. Nothing is going to happen in this attack. So when we recover the ball, we're going to give the ball to this guy, okay? And he's going to start the attacking, okay? But when they're not feel comfortable in the game, they go in group of three, okay? They go in group of three, and they're going to do the pressure, okay? And this three goes very close there, and you're going to notice the big empty spot. Okay, so this is pretty much how this team plays, but I always give uh, my input, okay, how this team could be better, okay, and this is why I talk about Kovacic, okay, so I will put Kovacic here for the starters, okay, so we will have Luka Modric, Rakitic, and Kovacic, okay? Also Luka Modric, Luka Modric and Kovacic, they can change, they can switch, okay, there's no problem. And I will put Brozovic here, instead of Mansukic. Why? Because the team is made in function of Luka Modric, which is the best player of the team. And Tekasic is correct on that. Okay? If he put Brozovic here, 
because he's too desperate in attacking and these two are already a little bit okay forward there all three are gonna be there on time okay and also Brozovic he has defensive characteristics and he can make the same function as Mansukic okay when the other teams come in attack he already he's ready there for defending okay and do the same function make them decide the other thing about this team that can be better is Piazza or however it's pronounced because I don't know exactly the pronunciation but I know in Italy they call it Marco Piazza um, Piazza I think he is the he is the starter of this team okay first because he plays in the in better team which is in Italy okay and because he is very constant he plays every day the same okay but they also have Kramaric which I think adjust better for this system the problem is that Kramaric uh, he doesn't play every day the same okay he's not constant but right now he's having a good moment okay right now he's playing every every day the same okay so maybe he can be there while he is in a good moment okay but he usually comes from the bench anyways okay what's the difference the difference is that uh, Kramaric he comes here and he's very fast but he, he, he put a little bit of football okay what this means Piazza he tried to go fast okay he goes to the middle and when he gets here he tried to fool the defenders okay but uh, Kramaric he usually wait until the defender comes to him then avoid him and then he has a little bit more a spectrum to meet the other players okay which for this system Kramaric is better than Piazza okay the problem is that Piazza is more regular he plays every day the same you know what to expect with Kramaric is a little bit of a question mark okay but this year right now this moment Kramaric is playing very very good and he's been there so I will put him there another thing about Pe about Perisic that I didn't mention which is very important okay is that when he goes in attack he's very fast when he goes in attack if here is the goalkeeper he's gonna stay in the same line when he has not the ball okay imagine the ball is in another side okay they're trying to reorganize an attack in here or here they're already there but when he comes and the situation is going on here okay he always are, is gonna stay in the same line of the last defender okay he's very aware of that okay most of his goals the defenders raise the hand up to look at the linear at the referee okay but he's never offside never okay because he always pay attention of the last defender and he's gonna stay in the same line okay so if you are the last defender be aware that you need to be close to him because if somebody from here see him he's gonna make the pass and you have nothing to do he's gonna score okay because he's a specialist on doing this okay so if you play against this team you need to be aware of that and uh, Subasic 
okay he is kind of the goalkeeper uh, more sil similar to the school of Iker Casillas okay Iker Casillas okay uh, they they use the whole body okay to try to block, block the ball okay but they don't care where the balls goes okay they only cares about blocking the ball okay which is what happened when Portugal score okay he doesn't care where the balls goes he only cares about blocking the ball so that's why he lost his standing he blocked the ball and then another player score okay but he this is the way he plays maybe if he tried to keep his standing maybe the first uh, the first the first player will try to score it will score okay because his style is using his whole entire body to try to block the ball and he doesn't care where the balls go okay this is this is this is uh, what I call the Iker Casillas school uh, that's why some people say oh Iker Casillas was very lucky because he always blocks the ball and the blocks the ball goes anywhere and he's lucky that they gonna score after that okay but it's not lucky it's because Iker Casillas he used to do this very well and when he blocks the ball he also tries to send her send the ball as far as he can okay but he is kind of the same as that is cool okay that he tries to block the ball he doesn't care where the ball goes and he's very good on that okay decent goalkeeper okay so this is it about Croatia this is how I call them uh, the pairs of three okay because they're gonna be defending like that okay so uh, if I miss anything if is there something that uh, I'm missing please let me know in the comments if you like this video give me a thumbs up it's gonna help me a lot and if you like it also share it so other people can see it or can make fun of me and if you want to subscribe remember uh, this is a mainly Spanish speaking YouTube channel but you can look for the ENG ENG uh, letters on the beginning of the name of the video and also I'm going to be doing the Confederation Cup uh, Russia 2017 I'm going to be doing the FIFA World Cup Russia uh, 2018 in English okay so I am the Bible of the soccer and thank you very much have a good day